Oh, Jay, what a night. Yeah, you amazing. did it. How do you feel? Oh, wonderful. No, it went down a treat, I think. Yeah, no, we were prepared. So that's what I think got us across the finish line. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. And it was a lovely surprise as well seeing Blue in the audience. Well, he was prepared. I wasn't. I <laughs> <up for> that. <laughs> so, so, Blue, you were the original keyboard player. Well, Morris was the actual, the, the, the real original keyboard player. But then um, I got the call in 1974. Um, Actually, I turned them down, first of all, because I was in a band called Not The Hoopla. Uh -huh. I was rock and roll. Queen was our support act, you know? Queen was and your then, support act? Then, yeah, but eventually, uh, Robert, I was sent over to the Isle of Man. I, I, I met everybody, and they said, we're going to Miami January the 1st. We've got Criteria Studios. We're staying at 461 Ocean Boulevard, and Arif Mute Martin is the producer. Do you want to come? I, how could I refuse, you know? Amazing. amazing. And, and, and do you remember RJ in those days? Do you remember him as a youngster? <laughs> he wasn't born then. No, no, not in those days, I know, but, but subsequently, because he grew up, obviously, uh, yeah. around the Bee Gees. Yeah, but I, I, that, that was after. I, I mean, I left, when, when was it, 1982? Right. So, and, yeah, and, so, yeah, it was a year before. But I, I, so, yeah, but, so you were so just a twinkle in the eye. I, I, I knew your mum before that, obviously. I know. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, Dwina was around, you know, then, and um, I, I, I knew Dwina, so... Uh, you know, very good. Was but is it the first time you've seen RJ perform? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, th I don't. I heard the. Uh, I, I bought the album. I, I, I bought it. I bought the album. The, the Gib Collective. Oh, you know. fantastic! There yeah. you go. Yeah. You didn't have to buy it. No, you had to buy <laughs> ten. <laughs> what are you talking about? Keep it going. It's like I said tonight. We have to support music. You know, yeah. um, you know, kids are brought up these days expecting music for nothing. You know, you can't pull into a petrol station and say, "Fill my tank up." Oh, I don't want to. You know, I'm not going to pay. You know. Oh, very good. And a lot of the songs you, you covered. A lot of the songs. What, what did you think of those songs, RJ? Sorry, which so the songs it? that Blue covered, yes. there was a, a lot there because they're trying to cram oh, yeah, a yeah, night so of just yeah. so many, yeah. so many hits from your uncles and your father, yeah, as, as well as new talent. It was amazing because you know there, there were a lot of songs tonight that we couldn't cover, so uh, you know given the time constraints, so for Blue and to then, get you up know there's solo projects like, and yeah. stuff. Look, you know myself and Robin did a whole album with Jimmy Ruffin, you know, and uh, it was amazing. You know, we we had such a great time. And this, and this is going to be the start of a series. Well, what's, what's going to happen let's next? Ho let's hope so. You know, I, I'm willing, whatever I can do to help, I'm here, you know, to come along and, and help support it. I mean, I, I support a live music venue in, in my village in Germany. And it's so important to keep venues, you know, where, where you can actually, uh, you Especially know. Especially for artists who deserve yeah, that platform. Yeah, yeah you know. because it's so hard. There's nowhere for, for new artists to go. And, you know, it's hard for them to get exposure. And, uh, what's the name of your village? It's called Vorps Vader. Oh, of course, I remember that episode of Star Wars. <laughs> yes. it was. It's near Bremen, actually. No, fantastic. Yeah. And how, how big is the village? Uh, the village, oh, I don't know, about six and a half thousand people, so, eight thousand. Because yeah. one of the things we're looking at is taking this on a worldwide tour, oh. which is something which a lot of the plans. And what's great about it is not just the music. Well, we have a venue about this size. The stage is actually bigger. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's all, you know, all the money is plowed back in, so we have fantastic equipment. It's a really nice place. The village is beautiful, and uh, but there's there's a couple of you know there's a few places in, in Germany like that in Hamburg. So we, if we, if you need to know these places, you know let me know. You can help us out on that sort of basis. Yeah. And the other great thing, RJ, as well, is you're giving a, a leg up, as you say, for new talent. Yes. Now we've launched a, a record company, our KTT Records. Uh, a lot of the artists have said they'd like to be signed up to that. Yeah. Um, what are your plans? Do you think for the future for releases? Well, apart from the, the live music that's performed here, they, they can be albums on their own, but of course we'll be releasing their, their albums separately as, um, um, or, or as, as singles, you know. So, um, no, I'm, I'm glad to have, uh, to have the guys on board. So um, we'll see what becomes of it, yeah. Okay. Finally, and, and finally, uh, you knew Robin very well. What do you think Robin, RJ's father, would have thought about tonight? He would be very proud. I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. And I think he, he would have been gobsmacked that RJ could get up and do it, you know, and, and sing also. I mean, I'm so envious, you know, all, all the, all, you know, oh, it, it's, just, it's just amazing. And to see it carry on, you know, um, it, it, you know, the music, the, the, the music and the legacy lives on, you know, this is great, you know, with, with all the gift children, you know, it's, this is amazing, what's so amazing, you know. Brilliant. Um, Saturday yeah. Night Weaver, I love that, it's <laughs> great you. to see you, thank you Blue. Thank you so much. RJ, thank great you. to see you as yeah. always, fantastic yeah. night.